Hey, so I just want to do a little introductory video of uh, what is tissue culture and the applications that you can use it for in cactus culture. So I'm not really going to do much, but this is just to show you. Um, so pretty much tissue culture, the thing that makes plant cells different from human cells is that they are all equivalent to stem cells meaning that every single cell in a plant has the ability to turn into another cell that a plant can create. So in this case, we are concerned with either taking tissue that already exists and making more shoots, so a multiple shoot culture, or using nodes, so a nodal culture, in, or in order to do the tissue culture. Um, or there's also a meristematic culture where you actually trim off all of the tissue and you only take the meristematic or the stem cell core of a plant and you place that on media for complete regeneration. Um, nodal culture is probably the easiest to do um, and it has use in all applications except for if you're trying to clean up viral tissue. Um, so when you want to clean up viral tissue, you have to go through a Mary stem. Um, luckily for cactus people, um, we don't have too many viruses that we have to deal with that uh, kill our plants. Um, but for other plants, um, like a lot of medicinal plants, uh, they do have viruses. Um, so pretty much what we do is if I had an actual cactus here, I would cut it up into a bunch of pieces and place that onto this media. This media, I'm going to show you guys how to make in another video, is actually MS Media. Um, I'm not that great with the name, but it's like Mirishrid and Scooge. Um, but they are the creators of this salt mixture um, that it's able to support plants. So pretty much all you need to know with this gel, um, it has osmolarity for plant cells, which means that the plants will not explode as if you were to put them on direct water or on a high salt medium. Um, it could cause some um, osmosis and, and, and also the, the cells to break. So this gel right here is agar, MS salts, water, vitamins, and a plant hormone. Um, that's usually the essentials to making this gel solution. Um, you can change the amount of agar depending on how solid you want it to be, and that will change the growth. Um, also, you'll see these have a vent on them. Normally, you will not see a vent on them. Um, that just also changes the type of growth depending on what you're looking for. Um, you can see I have 70% isopropyl alcohol and a 10% bleach with soap. These are the two solutions I use to disinfect it because Tissue culture is a sterile practice, 100% sterile, meaning this media right here supports bacteria, fungus, anything you can think of that can grow. Algae will grow on this media. So you need to make sure with any type of seeds or tissue that you completely wash it using, I'm gonna show you guys in another video, on a three-step process for cleaning up tissue or for cleaning up seeds. Um, and in general, it's always the same. The only thing that changes the amount of time that you use this bleach solution, depending on different plants. Cactus have a very thick tissue, so we use a little bit stronger bleach concentration actually, and more time when we're doing it. And I will show you guys how to do that for seeds and for um, actual plants. Um, and then after you do all those detergents, you need to rinse with water, obviously, so that it doesn't kill the plant. Um, but yeah, general overview, pretty much you, you have your plant, right? Then I'm going to cut it up so that I have multiple, right? So now I have multiple, and then I'm going to put those on either a petri dish full of media or these are called magenta boxes ga7 vessel or a ga4 if you want a shorter one but you can use petri dishes as well and you go ahead and place it on that media then after like two weeks you'll start to see the plant actually growing out more i know these are bad drawings but that's pretty much what we're doing. So we're gonna take the plant, cut it up, put it on media. That media now, it has two 
then I can cut that up and you can just keep expanding it. So you can see how it's exponential. I can keep cutting the new tissue into new tissue. And then eventually I'll have it with roots and shoots or whatever. I mean, it's a cactus, so who knows? Sorry about the drawing, but you get the point. So the idea is I take one cactus, you know, maybe a lophophora, it very slow growing, circular like this. I can cut up each tuft. So every white little fluffy wooly spot that you see, I can cut up and place on media in hopes that it regrows into a new cacti, thus moving forward. Um, that works for all cacti species. They're very similar. Um, right here, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do in uh, another video coming up, we're gonna do some Lophophora williamsii and some Trichoceras pachinoi. Um, but yeah, that's just a general overview. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments, share, like, do all that crap. Um, and thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.